Hi beans, welcome back to my YouTube. Um, I'm not feeling the best, so no makeup. I just kind of threw whatever I feel this look is together so that I could record this. But um, I have been requested to do this video like a lot, a lot, and it's gonna be kind of a long one. So I would grab something to drink and maybe a stuffy and get comfy because this video is gonna be kind of a long one. So welcome to my updated pacifier collection. Now, warning again, this is a weird setup. I'm standing because I don't have a setup yet. I got rid of my setup because I didn't think I was gonna be able to record videos anymore, but we're here. So um, just work with me with the uh, angles and me trying to go backwards to kind of get my face in the frame because this is an awkward spot. Okay, so I have the bin next to me and I'm just gonna randomly grab them like a couple at a time and show them. So first off, I grabbed this one, which this is one of the first ones I made, and it's a nickname Mandy with a panda, because Mandy Pandy has been my nickname for the longest time. And this little bluey one, it used to have a bluey center, but the bluey center broke, and I kind of like the bear on it more than the bluey center, so I might just get another bluey custom made at some point. Okay, so the next few I grabbed, this one was made by someone who I'm no longer friends with, unfortunately, but me and my best friend Chris made a joke out of it because it says friends forever like forever ever so i left it like this i think i'm gonna put like a little heart gem there because it's really really cute i like the way it is then i have this unicorn one i got it as a pre-made off of a shop that no longer makes them but it's really pretty i really like it and then this is another one that was made by a friend that i no longer am friends with but it is kind of cute now we dig for more okay so this one, I have two of these now. They are um, the Adult Fix Passies from Rears. And these are awesome. I like how big this is and the shield is much larger than like an average sized one, which I really, really, really appreciate. 10 out of 10 for this. I highly recommend it. I love Rears. Thank you for making this. And I grabbed this one, which I had to use the handle for something else. So I put this plain handle on it, but it is a unicorn one and the little button says go to hell and it's pastel and cute and I really like it. And the Little for Big Gen 2 with the matching colored teeth. I changed all of my Gen 2s that I have that are plain like this to the colored teeth because I love it. And now we dig. Okay. That's a teether. We don't need to show those right now. I'll do that in a different video. This is a, one of my modded uh, mams. I love these. I put the adult teats on them. They're really, these are the easiest ones by far that I've done to modify. And I really, really like them. They're super cute. This one glows in the dark. I love this one a lot, a whole lot. This one I've had for a while. This is an adult soother from an 18 plus shop. I will not disclose it. If you want any more information, I'll put my social medias in the description and you can message me personally. I just don't want to put this out there to anyone under the age of 18. But this is my adult soother. It's super, I love this. It's longer and thinner and it's really great for chewing. And I really, really like the butterfly. I just wish she would have made more colors than just this. The blue one's the only one to exist. I would love to see a pink one of this or even a black one. That would be awesome. Gosh, I need to stop talking so much about these, but just grabbing them. This was a pineapple one I made. It's sadly broken. And then this is one of the first ones I ever had. Me and my best friend, Chris, we painted these together. And I still keep them for memory purposes. I don't use them. Then I grabbed this one. It's a princess one with a unicorn. I got it on Amazon and my plain um, little for big, the second gen shield with the colored nippy and more digging. Oops, don't need a clip. This is my um, Aurora one that I made. It just is little one. I really like this one a lot. This is a small shield, little for big. I hate these. I have a few other colors. I've given a couple away to one of my awesome followers slash friends. We are really good friends now, but I hate these. And then this is one of the Little Bella Rears ones. It came in a set and I really like it. Okay, grabbing more. This is just a plain yellow and blue one. And then there's my Gudetama one. I love this one a lot. This one's like in my top 10. It's so cute, just as vibing. And then I have this other one that came with the unicorn one. Um, it came in a set on Amazon. This is the very first pacifier I ever decorated. I'm pretty impressed with it, not gonna lie. It was supposed to be like Melanie Martinez colors. And I really like the way it came out. I don't ever use it and I really should, but the handle broke and I don't have a handle for it. But it is still really cute, just kind of like this. And more digging. Keep grabbing clips on accident, you guys. Okay, Donald Duck, I made this one. 
comfort character. I love Donald Duck. It's super cute. Um, and then I have this one that used to say snacks on it. I have to fix some of the little letter beads on these, but this one is cute. It's a little peanut butter toast. Plain teal and purple. I like the colors together. I have this one that says I heart plants. I really like plants and cactuses are like the only plants I can keep alive. This is the very first one I ever got. It came in a pack of three on Amazon and this one was my comfort one. This was, this was my favorite. This was my everything. People who have been on my TikTok since the, the get-go from the very beginning know this one. Grabbing more of a handful. Ugh, the clip. Okay, that one's attached. We can deal with that. I got these size fours from Pacifier Addicts. They were on sale. They were like $2 for two of them. And I got both sets. So this is the Ladybug one. I like it. It's kind of small though. This really weird Pikachu one from Amazon. <laughs> I have a better one now. But we have her anyway. This was a promoter passy from a shop that it, I don't know really if it exists anymore. I can't find it anywhere. Maybe they changed their names. But this was a promoter one. It means a lot. It's really cute. And it's 420 friendly. Which if you know anything about me, I am definitely 420 friendly. Okay. This is one of my modified nooks. It was very hard. I should make a video on this because it was way more difficult than it should have been until I figured out how to do it right. But I have this one, which is really cute. Love that one. Here is my purple with the colored teat. And this one is one that I made a really long time ago and it just says Papa's Brat or Papa Brat, but it should have said Papa's, but I didn't have the room for the S. And it's like really edgy and spiky and I like it. I really wish that the clips would not get stuck. This is one of my, it came in a set of three. I got rid of the bunny one, but this is a, a printed Gen 2 shield with a bear. Excuse me. And a plain white one. This kind of like gold glittery color. I don't know if you can see, but it's very pearlescent and it's pretty. This one is a favorite by a lot of people and myself. This is my Motionless and White Creatures one. This means a lot to me. This album means a lot to me. This is my favorite band still to this day. Has been since like elementary school so um this one is definitely a favorite i definitely am going to get another motionless and white one made at some point and we got more here's the pink small shield that i don't like a purple small shield that i don't like um this clear one with a blue handle i really like this one i put a clear uh nippy on it because i like that one better but it's really cute my little bunny modded one. This one is so cute, but I got the set for a different reason, not this one. This is my little honey, my little honey, yeah. Hummingbird. Thank you very much. Um, I suck at English. But this is my little hummingbird and I put little glitters in it. I love it. And I'm grabbing more and clips are sticking. Okay, I'm pretty sure that one's attached. Okay, plain green and white. This one is my Pikachu one that's actually better than the one I got on Amazon. I like this one a lot. It's missing a couple gems, but nothing I can't fix. Plain green and white that's clear. No, green and pink. Why did I say white? It's like a clear green and pink. I kind of thought of watermelons when I put these kind of together. And this is one of my Rebel ones from Rears. It came in a set. And this one is... One that was sent to me by someone who I no longer talk to, but again, I have attachment issues and we'll never get rid of anything. We grabbed a big stack. Big stack. This is my little narwhal rainbow surface up one. I love that one. Here's a blue and pink one that I switched with the other one because I thought they looked really cute together. This one is a little spooky one. I like this one a lot. Like really, really like it. I have a plain gray one. I needed a plain gray one. When I found out they made a plain gray one, I had to get it. So I got it as soon as I found out about it. Plain white Gen 2 doesn't have a white nippy. They did not make a white nippy. It's just clear. That makes me so angry. I have a plain black. Little for big. Hate those shields. <laughs> and then I have this one, which I made about a year ago. And it's a little inside joke with the princess. She looks, she looks like she partakes and I thought it was funny, so I made it say schmacked, because that's a little term I use when small with 420 related things. And I put little glitters in the nippies. I'm dropping them. Okay, I have a little brat one. That one's an OG. 
plain orange because Halloween reminds me of orange. So I had to get a plain orange one. I have this teal one that's missing a handle. This is one of the frozen ones I made a really long time ago. I don't like it. I wish I did. Then I have this little, this little whale. And the other printed one for my little for big ones that I got. Um, I got rid of the bunny. I sent it to someone who I no longer talk to, but I don't really like, I didn't really like the bunny. Then I have this little dry shaker cauldron. I love this one. It's so sparkly. And then I have my Kiromi one. This is bratty bean on it and it has like fluffy handle and it's fully encrusted. This is from Cat Passies. Um, if you can get one from her, I really would. They're amazing quality. Nothing has fallen off of this pacifier and I've had it for over a year. Okay. And I have the other little Bella one. It came in a set. Then there's this little leopard or a tiger baby on this one that came with the hummingbird and I had to modify it. Have this baby bat one. I need to fix it. It was one of the first ones I ever made. It's a Halloween themed one. A plain unicorn one from Amazon. Plain brown one from Amazon. I have my other modified nook. I love this one. It's so like blue and gray and I love blues and grays together. I have these two modified mams. These ones are really cute. I really like the bee. And this one who a friend made me, but it's falling apart. So I am going to fix it. Okay, I have this My Little Pony one. This is my one of my favorites. It is from a shop that really became unreliable. So I'm not gonna disclose the shop. This is a pre-made from them. I really love them. They're such great quality and they're so beautiful, but the shop ended up kind of being really, really terrible on communication and stuff, which I don't really appreciate. I have this plain rainbow one, this wild one with a corgi that I made for Pride, and I still love it. It's so unique. I've never seen anything like it online. Then this one was sent to me by a fan a really, really long time ago. It was the first deco I ever got. And I put glitter in the nippy, of course. And this is the whole reason I got the bunny one. There was a squirrel. I'm a squirrel mommy, if you guys did not know that. And I love squirrels. Okay, I have this one. And a plain hot pink one. And a plain red one. These ones don't need too much explanation. Plain little heart one that I've had a long time plain green one with the matching teat and this one that used to say nom nom but one of the little things are missing I gotta fix it and this one which is from Rear's Pacifier Addicts it is a size 8 it's a little bit wider again than a normal one it's a little bit bigger and wider shields the same size but I love this teat so much and then there's this little like skin color one Woo! I'm standing here sweating I didn't realize I had this many Okay, my little turtle. This is my other fix size 10 from Pacifier Addicts. Of course, it's 420. Had to do it. I have a plain purple one. This is another little modified one with a toucan and a zebra. And my Rapunzel one, because if you did not know, Rapunzel is my favorite Disney princess. I relate to her on a lot of different levels. My favorite pacifier to ever exist. It's from Baby or Doll. It is the Vintage Baby Shield, and it is the perfect nippy. It's It's got this little divot for the tongue. It is so comfy. I want to get every color that they have released. I'm getting close to being done. I have this plain navy blue. And the size... Five Nook from Pacifier Addicts on Rears. I like this one a lot. It's kind of small, but I love the the Nook shields. I love this style of teat. It's the, the the texture. I love it. This is another modded one. This these are the other two that came with that set from Pacifier Addicts that were really on sale. They're about a size four, so they're not exactly the best thing for your mouth for consistent use, but they are really cute. And I just, I have a plain blue one and the black one with the, oops, the black one with the matching teat. Okay, I have the Gen 3 shield from Little for Big, a plain one. I have this Halloween one that broke, it had a little black cat on it. Makes me sad. The other rears, Rebels from Pacifier Addicts or just rears.com, I don't remember. This is the other painted one that me and my best friend made. I keep it for nostalgia purposes. I have a Rainbow Dash one. It used to have Rarity on it, but the Rarity broke and the person who made the Homemade Center no longer makes them anymore. My little reindeer for Christmas. 
and this little unicorn one that I won in a giveaway. Shayla made me this. It's so sweet. I still love it a lot. I'm pretty sure these are the last few, at least the ones I know where they are. My Pinkie Pie Party one. I love, I love my little pony. I have a plain pink one and this little darling one. I love it. It's so dainty and so simple and cute. And then I have a plain black one from Little for Big. And the Little Comforts Passy comes with two teats. This is the Cherry Pop one. And I didn't have another shield to put it on, so I just put it on this one. And it works perfectly fine, and I love it. Well, babies, that concludes my pacifier tour. I'm sorry if I was talking really fast and just trying to get through it. I have a lot, and I didn't want this video to be excessively long. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um. I really, really, really am so glad to be back and making content. But I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully next week. Well, guys, it's been a couple days, but before I end this video, um, I found one that I totally, completely forgot about in the video. It was in my bed, but it's this one. So this is the last one that I have found to add to the video before I end it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Sorry for the weirdness. Thank you.